Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is about advanced VLSI subject with the code 21EC71. This is the subject comes under 7th semester and this carries 3 credits. You can see CIE and SE marks is 50-50, total marks is 100. So let us understand this subject content through a perspective of a VLSI engineer. It means how actually students can be able to understand this subject in terms of getting into a VLSI industry. As usual, there are five modules here, each and every module uh, covering some of the VLSI advanced concepts. So that will be helpful in fetching a job in industry. So let us get into the first module. In the module one, we are having ASICs. Introduction to ASICs is the topic over here. So ASICs in the sense, it is application specific integrated circuits. Means what we call it as an IC, it can be a application specific and it can be a programmable IC or if you see FPGAs, they are programmable in the site. So like that, there are different types of ICs available in VLSI. So this chapter or this module covers application specific ICs. So these ICs will be used for a particular application. We can call it as a customized IC. It will be start with a full custom design or semi custom design and programmable ASICs. So the full custom, semi-custom are, uh, it means, as I said, it will be for a particular application. Fully we need to customize that or it is already some components are available. We need to use them and semi-custom it is or it, it is programmable. That we will be understanding in the first module. And then it goes to design flow, how the flow of the ASIC design will be and then cell libraries related to ASIC and then comes CMOS logic. Here in the CMOS logic, the data path logic cells like adders will be discussed. Here, adders is our ASIC. Suppose if you want to uh, design an adder, there are different types of adders available. To generate a carry and to reduce the time to generate the carry is the main task in adders. So for that, we will be having carry skip adder, carry bypass adder, carry save adder, carry select adder and conditional sum adder and comes to the next version of adders that are multipliers. So booth encoding is there and data path operators, IO cells and cell compilers. This is module one. Here most of the things will be related to ASICs itself and the data path or the design we are going to understand here with respect to ASIC only. And then the next module is floor planning and placement. So this will be helpful for the physical design role. Here the goals and objectives of the placement and routing will be understood. Then measurement of delay in the floor planning, how the delay will be calculated and we are going to achieve the less delay in the time of floor planning. And then floor planning tools available and channel definition in a input output and then power planning and clock planning. Here you can see clock planning, power planning and the delay uh, measurement are the main concepts in the floor planning. If you come to placement, goals and objectives of the placement and min cut placement algorithm will be discussed here and iterative placement improvement time driven placement methods and physical design flow so this is much helpful to understand how actually the flow of physical design will be and then comes routing global routing goals and objectives and then global routing methods global routing between the blocks of sub blocks and block annotation this is module 2 so module 1 is a 6 this is generally discussing the design of ASICs. The second module is floor planning and the placement, how the floor plan and placement will be and how we are going to the delay power and uh, clock. And then the third module is verification guidelines. So here in this module, we'll be understanding how those ASICs will be verified. So the verification process we need to understand first and then basic test bench functionality. Already you might have uh, learnt about Verilog and the test bench, but here in the verification of uh, any ASIC, uh, the industry will be using system Verilog or UVM. So the concepts related to that will be covered in module 3. Basic test bench functionality, uh, directed testing, methodology basics, constrained random stimulus generation in the test bench and how the randomization will be helpful and what is functional coverage, what is test bench component and layer test bench. This is the first half of the module 3. In the second half of the module, we will be directly uh, diving into the system Verilog data types and fixed array dynamic arrays, queues, associative arrays, linked list and array methods, 
choosing a type and creating new types with a type diff and then creating user defined structures and type conversions enum type constants and strings and expression width so this module is very very important in a design verification perspective the first module is related to design the second module is with respect to how the physical design will be and third module will be with respect to verification of that asic and the next module fourth module is procedural statements and routines in the procedural statements you can see here tasks and functions void functions task and function overview routine arguments returning from a routine local data storage time values again these are related to how actually the uh, coding will be done with respect to task and functions how actually they will be used in a module so this is very very important with respect to a design as well as the verification perspective and then connecting the test bench and design separating the test bench and design how we are going to keep the design and test bench separately and the interface construct stimulus timing how the timing will be managed interface driving and sampling system error log assertions so this module is also a extended version of the previous module we can say here also we will be understanding more about how the task and functions are used and how the test bench and the designs are going to be separated finally system error log assertions assertions based verification is also a very important thing in design verification then the last module is randomization so i said randomization is very important in the design verification to generate the random stimulus so randomization is one of the major concept in system error log so what is randomize how the randomization in system error log is going to happen random number functions common randomization problems and random number generators so even in the interviews if you go to design verification field they will be asking to generate some random values with some constraints so that and all will be covered in module 5 and then second of is functional coverage this functional coverage will be having the different types of coverage coverage strategies simple coverage example uh, autonomy of cover group and triggering a cover group data sampling uh, cross coverage generic cover groups coverage options analyzing coverage data measuring coverage statistics during simulation so this coverage also give us the percentage of code is covered while doing the verification so this is also a very important uh, concept of verification we can say so this module 3 module 4 module 5 covering most of the concepts of verification and module 2 is with respect to the physical design flow placement and routing and module 1 is about the design of asics and the data types so the test books here they have suggested is michel john sebastian smith application specific ics this is for the asics and then we will be having system error log for verification that is the test book 2 and also they have suggested to go with the edi tools and also they have given some paper to uh, go through on asic design flow and then mini project using system error log is preferred over here if you want training on vlsi or internship if you are looking at on design verification or embedded system you can go through this logicsells.com and you can apply and also some free training videos on vlsi is available in explore electronics plus channel you can go through that and understand more about the system error log and uvm concepts this is about the introductory video to this subject let us start going through the each and every module and cover all the content and also the model papers and the solutions will be provided in the playlist and please go through the uh, playlist for the new videos are going to be uploaded on this video and you will be getting the complete content and also the model paper solutions thank you